what's up what's good what's hood and what's life leo welcome back to my channel okay and i will be doing you all a general reading for this month or you know whenever you see it or whatever and we just check in you know spirit see if spirit checking for y'all seeing if you check the spirit so let's see what is going on with leo for this month um anything else for the sign of leo anything else Ooh, look at y'all okay i'm here for it okay cousin hi fellow fire sign okay whoa it's a lot but it's okay cousin let's see what's going on all right leo so the first card that came out for you though was the politics card which is a mental card so leo this month you you're in your head a lot you're you're in your head a lot you may want to consider not being around um any manipulated oh this this exposure is so trifling i'm sorry guys if it's a little overexposed but mm, i apologize oh that's that's ugly i'm sorry anyway leo yeah y'all are a little bit you know in your head um can be a little bit gullible i will say that um y'all are kind of liking how things are sounding without a whole lot of the receipts of anything like y'all are kind of giving me this Im impulsive type of energy a little bit when it comes to your thoughts like you'll 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 hear something, get so excited, and just run with it without having all of the details and facts first. But that's not completely a bad thing. Spirit's just saying, do your research. You know what I'm saying? Just do your research. Make sure that everything checks out the way it's supposed to be. Nobody's trying to, you know, take you for a loop or anything like that. Because the next card that fell out was the abundance card. So, uh, Leo, this is kind of, for me, saying that, yes, you can very well... Um, if it, if it sounds good and everything matches up, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Execute the plan. Take that job. Whatever the case may be. But, Leo, if it sounds too good to be true and you kind of see some results, but they ain't really what they said they was going to be, it's just making sure you dot your I's and, and you know, cross your T's. But there, here, here is the abundance card. So I'm not saying you're... Your go-getter um, mentality isn't a good one to have. It's beautiful, but spirit is simply saying that right now, don't get gullible. Like, don't get to a space where you just, just because it glitters, it ain't always go. People out here buying followers, people buying likes. So just use your discernment a little bit more, right? Here is the innocence card. Leo, innocence card is is the lesson. You know, have a simpler approach to everything. Everything ain't got to be so simple. Uh, so serious but don't be naive so that's where spirit is saying like yes your go-getter mentality has worked for you it has done you a great deal of benefit but now let's try to add on some seriousness to that to where it's like now we're putting some research on that like now we're asking for the receipts you know what i'm saying so spirit's really just saying yeah you can do all that Let's just put a little research in it, because people are scamming. It's a whole lot of scammeration, holleration, all up in this dancery. Not ours, but a lot of other people's, right? So, <clears throat> then the next set of cards, right, that came out was the sorrow card here in the reverse. So, Leo, sometimes you feel like you don't make the best decisions. Sometimes. But spirit is helping you, right? Harmony in the upright. So, Leo, this is actually really, really great, because this is, is kind of saying that you're trusting your intuition a little bit more. Like, now you're trusting the universe. You're trusting God, Gaia, whoever, however, right? But you're trusting spirits who guide you that, you know, the feelings that you're feeling are valid and and you're not crazy or anything like that. Like, but you're not too confident in it. I know spirituality, having access to spirit can be a little overwhelming to people. It can freak people out, you know, if you ain't gotten used to it or you haven't chosen to walk through that door yourself, right? But... Again, cousin, okay, I'm here for all of this. That's going to change. Because look at that. Here's your transformation card here in the upright, okay? Spirit has all types of hope for you. But I'm just, it's going to be, it's going to be a little difficult, okay? And and that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Spirit's just saying, now that you're impulsive, we got to, we got to add some shit into that. So you're, you're transforming. Welcome to the Caterpillar Juice stage, cousin. It gets awkward. <laughs> All right. And then here is the maturity card here in the upright Leo, which, like I said, is a bomb ass card. You feel me, cousin? I'm excited. Look at you thugging it out and stuff. OK, but no, Leo, that's quite exciting. Uh, quite exciting. What I will tell you, though, cousin, like, yo, 
cousin to cousin, okay? Player to player, pimp to pimp. Let me talk to you. Chill, bro. <laughs> like, damn, you can't be the impulsive person. That's my job, okay? That's Aries, right? But just do some research. Don't be overly excited just because, you know, they got a nice suit on and they got X amount of ZK followers on Instagram. You feel me? Do the research. Do the research. Don't be afraid of not saying yes immediately. You know what I'm saying? What's for you is for you. And if you really need to, you know, check their resume, then check their resumes. If you really got to see if the business check out, then you got to see if the business checks out. But please, Leo, consider doing the research. I'm not saying what you've been doing ain't been working. But do your research, okay? Do your research. Relationship change, bro. Bam. Cousin, look at that. Relationship change. So, you very well may be getting into some partnerships. You very well may be getting into some business partnerships. So, that's what I was saying. Like, don't be too gullible. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely, definitely do your research. Um, make sure everything checks out. And if it checks out, execute it. Like, gut punch. Like, get over here. Like, that needs to be you with your blessings. Okay? But it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, Leo, but it, it's going to take some time. Don't be gullible and don't get arrogant, okay? Don't be, don't be a fucking fire sign. <laughs> don't be a fire sign. Do not be a fire sign. Fire sign, fire sign. Don't be that person, okay? Don't be that person. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm like, yo, yo, just don't do it. Just don't do it, right? Leo, look, y'all have forgiveness here. So forgiveness is for you. Forgive yourself for not knowing some of these opportunities existed beforehand. Forgive yourself for not executing them when you did know about it. You know what I'm saying? Don't beat yourself up. You know, forgive yourself for whatever you didn't know and just do better now. Now that you know, now that you have access to all of this information, now that you have, you know, access to this connect, that connect, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, however, forgive yourself for what you did not know. And do better now. And that's just that on that. Like, forgiveness is for you, not for the other person. So, forgive yourself for even putting yourself in positions where you've been played. You know what I'm saying? Or not appreciated. Or not valued. Or whatever, however. But forgive yourself. And then forgive other people for what they do not know. You know what I'm saying? They might not know how amazing you are. They lost, right? Spiritual career, okay? Get right with spirit, okay? You might want to take up preachers that's not that's not what that is i don't mean to sound ignorant but i'm pretty sure that's not what that is but maybe you might want to go to school to be a pastor deacon person again excuse my ignorance i'm not meaning to sound as ignorant but you might want to go to school to be that right or you may want to take up spirituality um in other forms maybe you might want to be a herbalist or a tarot reader or a what is it a reiki practitioner or a reiki master you might want to consider going into shamanism you know whatever however but whatever gets your spirit right and and makes you feel whole and abundant and safe do that get right with spirit you know get a good relationship with spirit god whoever whatever and you know boss up and floss up karmic completion okay you guys are coming out of a cycle of karma whether it was your karma somebody else's karma hell the family's karma but you're coming to an end of that cycle which is why i said forgiveness is really for the like you but it's not for the other person it's just to help you get over whatever fuckery the old people were doing you know what i mean so that's neither here nor there is my phone not charging what the fuck Anyway, and then here's your intuition card as well as the effort card. So as I was explaining to you, Leo, like you just want to get into a space where you can trust your feelings, get into your emotions, you know, don't be so gullible or not gullible, but like, yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. Don't be so gullible. Like I said, if just because it sound good and it look good on paper, don't mean that's, that's what it is. So just be, use your discernment, right? Hear it. Ooh, yep. Said it uh cultivation so you want to do things that have depth in it like i said whatever makes you feel good do it you know what i'm saying feel good um like i said i know the impulsiveness can you know get to you and make you all excited and stuff like that but as a fire sign just make sure you're doing the research and make sure you're getting the best benefit because you 
you are one of the hardest workers. As fire signs, we and fire signs and earth signs, like we do the most work. Like we have the most energy, we do the most work. But a lot of the times we get burnt out too. Fire signs, we get burnt out quick. So just make sure you're Make sure you're balancing it out, like spreading it out a little bit. Everything isn't right there, right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that's making sense. Otherwise, I'm rambling, right? Clear your energy, Leo. Like, you might want to remove some, some things out of your life. Like, you might want to boss up in ways that you didn't think before. Like, maybe you might want to detox a little bit. Maybe you might want to remove some old clothing, you know, that you're not using. Or, you know, holding on to that old energy and shit like that. Or just throwing shit away. <laughs> spring cleaning, okay? Because spring is on its way. So you may want to consider doing some shit like that. Sagin, Palo Santo, you know, shit like that, right? Nurture. Nurture yourself. So, Leo, this is kind of like talking about, you know, being the parent to you. You might want to or might have to parent your inner child or might need to parent your inner child or, you know, didn't know at first that you may have had to. But saying that is to say, nurture yourself. You know when you're doing good. You know when you done fell off. But as long as you're always doing your best, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So nurture you. Nurture your dreams. Yo, those are your dreams. Aspirations and goals. It, they ain't nobody business. <laughs> so you nurture them. You feel me? And then here is the delight card. You probably can't see me doing jazz hands, so I'm going to bring them down. My jazz hands. So, yeah, the delight card. This is going to bring you so much joy. You're going to have fun doing it, but you have to have fun in the process already. So, Leo, if you're already not in that space where you're enjoying what you do, Figure it the fuck out because <laughs> like it it you have to get inspired otherwise what you do just becomes an obligation and then it's like it, you become desperate and then desperate energy is like that's where that impulsive energy comes out because it's like oh i don't want to do this anymore or, when is my turn gonna come or when's my shot gonna come blah blah blah, blah. but you got to get almost out that desperate energy i'm not saying you're desperate i'm just saying like sometimes you you got to know when you're doing the right shit right so, cousin, you have Eclipse and Taurus, which is a re, what is it, reevaluation, which is a change of heart, which was like I was saying, you know, just making sure you cross all your T's, dot all your I's, and making sure that everybody, everything is up to par before you just jump head first into a situation, right? And then you have Moon and Pisces, which is wonder, and it says, uh, follow your dreams. Like I said, whatever it is that you're, you're manifesting, go ahead and do it, but just make sure if you're considering collabing going into business or partnership with anybody that their end of the bargain holds up as well as yours like you can't you can't be catfishing them either like you gotta be integral show up how you want to show up don't catfish nobody be integral with your business just like you're expecting your partner to be integral with theirs right then sun in virgo which is um endeavor and it says you reap what you sow so as i was saying you gotta show up just like how you want them to show up but don't be don't be out here catfishing nobody. Okay, so you have to be able to cross all your T's and dot all your I's as well. So if you want them to look good on paper, you gotta look good on paper too. Look at you. Showed up in your own reading. Eclipse in you, okay, compassion, and it says shine brightly like the star that you are. Authentically. So cut ooh, excuse me. So cousin, as I was saying, don't don't be so easily swayed, right? Just because they got a nice pantsuit or they got X amount of Z followers on Instagram with X amount of Z likes doesn't mean their business is popping or doesn't mean their customer service is up to par or doesn't mean they handle their patrons well. You know what I'm saying? Like their their clients and stuff like that. And then you too uh, is, is how you treat your clientele and um, people the same way that they do. Do y'all hold the same moral values and standards? If not, then you might want to consider doing business with these people. Just, Leo, pay attention to who and what you are associating your name to and if it if it's a, a reflection of you, right? But this month, Spirit is asking you to, you know, what the fuck do you want, okay? Make sure that the people around you are in reflection to you and the mission that, you know, if you're integral, make sure the people you, you rocking with are integral, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure that the people, places, and things that you are surrounding yourself with this month, Leo, are a reflection of you and your mission and how you like to get down you feel me so i hope this resonated with you please like comment subscribe share the video and um, i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys